Hey everybody, it's John Brown, the Bandana Gamer, and Reverend Dr. Batgirl. It is the first of the month, that means it is the GameStop $5 challenge. As I've said before, I'm trying to complete a Wii U set, uh, North American releases, and using my $5 certificate that my pro membership gets me, though it used to get me 10% off all pre-owned games, using that $5 gift certificate they now send as a consolation prize for that, uh, to just pick up free games, to pick up the $5 cheapy games to help complete the set. So we are at a GameStop in Hyattsville, Maryland, and we are going to go in and see if they have anything that will that I can get for $5. <laughs> So here we are. What game did I get? Scribble Knights Unmasked for the Wii U. Uh, I don't know a lot about this game other than it is connected with the DC Universe, which I love DC Comics. I'm a huge DC Comics fan. I have two titles that I really like that I might reveal in another video. Um, but like I said, I don't know a lot about this video or this video game. I do have. Let's see, the other one is Scribble Knots Unlimited, and I haven't checked that out. The case is in okay shape. There's a little bit of a, like, gouge there, but it did have the quote-unquote instru instruction manual or what passes for an instruction manual these days. So let's get into it. Let's play Scribble Knots Unmasked, and I will give you my first impressions of this game. Well, in not very shocking form... Scribble Nuts did not work, so I'm going to run to another GameStop and see if they will let me exchange it for another $5 game. Let's see what happens. <laughs> So that was one of the most frustrating experiences I've ever had with GameStop. And that is saying quite a lot. So we got a new copy of the game. Still got Scribble Knots uh, unmasked. Uh, same case. Uh, different disc. They switched that out for me. So I'm going to tell you a bit about what happened. And let you make your own opinions about it. I know there are all kinds of opinions on GameStop. And I'm very GameStop neutral. There's stuff they do I like. There's stuff they do I don't like. I, you know, they're a corporate retailer. That's about the gist of it. I, you know, they're Walmart and Best Buy. I don't see much difference between the two. GameStop has been run very poorly by executives and management at the highest level, which probably my guess is we won't see GameStop in 2021. And that sucks uh, for a re big reason, and that's a lot of people losing their jobs. That's why I don't really engage in, oh, I hate GameStop, blah, blah, blah. Like, the people that are going to be hurt by GameStop going away are not the CEOs and the manager, high high level managers. They're going to walk away with millions of dollars in bonuses and things. That's what we've seen, and that's what we continue to see. And it's the people whose everyday jobs working you know, various degrees up from minimum wage are going to be left out in the cold. So I don't really want GameStop to go away, but I think their leadership has made it fairly inevitable. But that being said, so here is my experience at GameStop number two. I returned the game at a different GameStop, as I've already shown. Uh, this one was closer to my house. And let me be clear, it sucks to drive anywhere from where I live now. Uh, D.C. and this area of Maryland and Virginia is just better to do public transit. But there was one with that didn't really have a public transit option, drivable. It takes about 20 minutes to get out there, but it's an obnoxious 20 minutes. So I go out there, have my receipt, have the game, take it into the store, show it to the guy. I'm like, hey, this didn't work. I'd like to switch it out. 
uh, for either this game or get something else along the same price line. So the guy takes the, opens it up, looks at the disc and goes, oh, this, I don't understand why people don't clean these. Now I looked at the disc, there was some smudging, but Wii U discs are fairly resilient and can read. So I had wiped it off. The guy blows on the, on the disc and wipes it down and hands it back to me. I'm like, okay, that really doesn't work with NES cartridges. I don't really think it works with Blu-ray-esque disc. I know the Wii U is Blu-ray-esque. Um, but I'm kind of like, okay. And he's like, yeah, take this back and try it. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'll be here till four. And I'm like, well, I don't really want to drive anymore. And you, and I told him as such, I was like, Hey, I don't really want to drive. Uh, can I just go ahead and switch it out? He's like, Oh, sure. Okay. And you know, I get like trying to get the smudges off, whatever. Uh, but that to me just doesn't fly to me. Like that's it. You, you just do the return. Even if it is just a smudge problem, switch the person out, make the customer happy. It doesn't take that long. It's a, I know it's a $5 game, and I know it's a game I'm not paying for. I'm not expecting, like, hey, roll out the red carpet for the guy using a coupon to get a free game. But, you know, in a time where there's, like, a major virus scare going on, maybe don't breathe on a product and hand it back to the customer. So he goes through uh, the Wii U drawer, takes a good minute, answers questions from another person in the store. I'm the only customer uh, there's someone, like, scanning and doing inventory on t-shirts. Takes about five minutes to answer one of her questions. And I also want to throw out there, I've worked retail. I know retail kind of sucks. And I understand, like, you're trying to do a million things. Corporate is down on you to do inventory and other things. But, you know, generally, most everyone's like, when the customer's in the store, customer comes first. Once again, I understand. I'm using a coupon to get a free game. I'm not, like, Mr. Moneybags. I'm not Scrooge McDuck. Uh, but, you know, I might buy something later. And that actually fit, comes into the story later. Um, so he takes five minutes, answers her questions about t-shirts and whatever. He then goes to the drawer, rifles through the drawer, comes back with a Scribblenauts disc, uh, Scribblenauts Unmasked, the right one. Looks at it again. It's smudgy. He blows on it again to wipe it down. And I'm like, you could have just told me it was smudgy and I could have done that. I've worked in a video game store, to be precise. I haven't worked in a GameStop, but I, I know how to wipe a disc down with a cloth. Um, I'm fairly certain that wasn't what was happening with the first disc. but And then puts it back in the like little yellow disc envelopes they have and hands me that. Keeps the case. And just, I'm like okay and so i have to ask i'm like hey can we can i you know at least take the case you're not gonna you know you're gonna charge the same thing for a discless copy and you'd make a case and so he's like oh yeah i guess like it's some burden hands me that hands me the case and he's like all right switch out the disc and i'm like okay i don't understand why you just when you handed me the case didn't take the disc out but so I switch out the disc, hand him the envelope back, and go on my merry way. Before I leave, I'm like, oh, you know, they're doing buy two, get two on previous generation stuff. I'm not supposed to be buying video games in a GameStop or a normal video game retailer. But I'm like, I'll look. I'll see if there's anything that catches my eye. And I look around the store, and there's, there's no Wii U section. This store has taken Wii U off the floor. Have a lot of fun, Co-Pops. Um, so I, I asked the guy, I'm like, oh, is Wii U off the floor? He's like, yeah. But I have a bunch of Wii U stuff in the drawer. What are you looking for? I'm like, well, I just kind of wanted to see what you had that was in good condition in a ca case. If you had anything in that price range. He's like, well, what game are you looking for? I'm like, I asked if I can see the drawer. And like, of course not. They can't bring me behind the counter. But I'm like. How are you selling product? If you, like, know GameStop and work there, if you want to explain to me, like, 
why you have product in a drawer that you can't really display, I'd love to know. That one just flummoxed me. And I, you know, I asked, I think about one game that I knew was fairly cheap off the top of my head. They didn't have it. And I was like, cool, I'll leave. Uh, got home and booted up the game. Game works. And so this will be now my first impression of the game. Okay, so now I have skipped kind of the intro first kind of tutorial aspects of the game. Um, so, uh, interesting concept. Uh, kind of like a video gamified Mad Libs. Type your thing. Add adjectives. I'm down. Let me see. I kind of want to see if I can... Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can conjure a hammer. I do appreciate that it uses the gamepad. Oh, cool, I can. Um, can I... Oh, I have to use the stylus. Apparently I cannot pick up the hammer. Let's see if I can make a sword. Okay. Oh. Alright, so now I have a sword. I can add adjectives. Um, wish I could show you what's on the gamepad because it kind of does like a uh, different kind of uh, typewriter uh, keyboard instead of like a, just a plain uh, plain typewriter or bleh, plain digital touch keyboard it does a kind of a typewriter interface that's pretty cool huh let's see can i nope i wonder if i could conjure just a to try a fish huh yes i can And I can use the fish to attack? Huh. That's pretty... I would say this is... Hmm. <clears throat> Just an interesting concept. I'm sure, like... Let's see. Couldn't pick up a hammer. Let's see. Uh... I wonder if I could conjure a comic book. Yes, I can. Oh, cool. I can throw it at things. Ah! Okay. Let's conjure a weapon. Now, it tells me to try new things, so... I said sword before, so let's try saber. Cool. Combat's not that great, but once again, cool concept. People are attacking me. Cool world to explore. I like the 2D, I like the art style. Oh, there's a bunch of villains upstairs. I always find 2D right, So Batman I'm starting Batman versus Joker. I don't know what that means. There's Killer Croc. Chaos is spreading throughout the streets. We come back to my character. There seems to be an evil version of me. I'm going to take a second and move my cat. So, 
but Zoro Maxwell. Let's see. Robot. And they got a robot. Planning robot. Alright, uh, I need another weapon. I feel like this would be fairly fun if you were streaming and getting suggestions. to see about a cannon. Joker word. Try. Joker get freeze Batman. That's a Mr. Freeze thing. Joker sh should have. Let's see. Can I thaw Batman? I spelled that wrong. It's one problem with this game. Like. My spelling is terrible. Oh, here comes Gordon. Alright, so I played through enough basics of this to kind of give you my final thoughts. So, Scribble Knots Unmasked, five bucks. Pretty cool game. It's you know, not a game that really streams or entertains well. Um, didn't, you know, have the creative juices in my mind going at the time to try and think of different things to type up. But it does seem like something that would be really fun to play around with. And it seems kind of like a really cool, like, something you'd see out of the indie space. So it's cool to see it from Warner Brothers. And not only that, getting, you know, Warner Brothers big characters. I love, once again, love the DC Universe. So for five bucks to have... A game that ties into DC characters and put even in a cartoonish sense. I, you know, I like Batman Brave and the Bold. I like different interpretations of these characters. This month, I think my five dollar challenge went way way better than February's. This is far better than Planes Fire and Rescue, and I look forward to playing around with this. I might do a stream of this and see if people want to chime in and give me suggestions. Let me know if that is something you want to do in the box below let me know if that's something you would you know join in on if i did stream and let me know what you thought of this five dollar challenge let me know what you think of this concept and if you like this video make sure to hit that like button and give me a uh, give me a subscribe my friends i will catch y'all in the next one peace